Oh, oh glory. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Woo. Thank you, Lord. Praise Thank God. You. Amen. Oh. We'll let God get we're back over there and have some church. <laughs> Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're Thank having you. a real good time. So Jim's call in. It's uh, 528-4671. we got about 20 more minutes, 25 minutes All here. right. But uh, whatever your needs are, call in. We're going to let John preach for us. And uh, just take your call up on the Lord most of all. Yeah. Amen. All right. Good evening. I'm, this, I'm, I am John Burkhardt. I'm happy to be here this evening and privileged to be here this yes, evening. I am your uh, brother, uh, and I am someone who uh, uh, has been called by the Lord. I've been, uh, I guess this month makes the 53 years that I had the privilege of preaching. And uh, I'm hoping somehow this evening to be God's instrument in uh, leading you to heaven, leading you to uh, a better life here that will lead you to uh, eternal life hereafter. You know, I'd like to start off by saying the first part of our Lord's Prayer. That's the prayer that Jesus taught us. He says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now listen to this. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let's, let's think about that, if you will, uh, that we would ask that thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. There's something about uh, God's kingdom that we need to understand here this evening. And that, that understanding is that uh, uh, sometimes we make God way off. That God's kingdom is way up and way off, and that God is way up and way off. That somehow or other, uh, the presence of God is not really here, but up there somewhere. And we oftentimes talk about uh, when we die, we want to go to heaven. And uh, there, there's something about understanding that uh, the, the process or the work of going to heaven is today. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And so there's something about uh, understanding that we don't suddenly die and we're transformed, but uh, we live and we are, to, uh, we are each day to go to heaven. Each day we are to live in God's kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. So there's something about uh, God not being far off. God is close, God is intimate, God is loving. And, and God is someone who, is, uh, who has a kingdom here. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth. A kingdom on earth. So when we die, we don't go somewhere. We continue to be where we are. And if we are living with the Lord, then we're in his kingdom. Uh, the, the death is simply, simply a continuation of our choice to live with God, to live in his kingdom. Uh, and I think sometimes we think that there's some kind of a miraculous thing happens when my heart stops. That somehow, whether I'm transformed and I'm God and I are buddies, I'm suddenly going to start being close to God, and uh, I'm, I'm suddenly uh, uh, going to have a great love for God. The idea of, of our living is to make that happen every day. Every day we need to make thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. So uh, the process of going to heaven is a daily job, a joyful job. We, we live in God's kingdom today. We live in God's friendship and love today. Yeah, that God is not someone far off. He's a close and intimate God. He's some, someone who abides with us and leads us uh, to the everlasting kingdom. Uh, when we draw our last breath, which is the happiest day of our life, we, we step into his kingdom and we see God face to face, and we see where we've been living all of our days of our life, hopefully, that we've obeyed his commandments, we, we've, uh, we, we've been prayerful, uh, we've been obedient children of God, we've followed the gospel uh, of his son, and uh, therefore we have been living in that kingdom. So it's not something that down the road, when we die, we go to heaven. Today, we go to heaven. Today. We make God our Father. Today we live in his holy presence. Today we obey his, his commandments. Listen to uh, um, 
a, a piece of scriptures we, we have here uh, that we that our Lord Jesus Christ uh, brought to our uh, attention uh, in in the in the uh, 17th chapter of, of Luke. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, "Know you not that the kingdom of God is within you?" It's not way out there somewhere, but it's within you. The kingdom of God is here and now. God loves us, and God lives with us. He, he's not a distant God, a cold God, but he's a loving God, an embracing God, someone who loves us more than anyone else. So he's not distant in a way, but he's here and now, and he's with us if we let him be with us. And we let him be with us by doing his will. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. Uh, the, so the, the, the idea of the kingdom coming, by doing the will of God, we have, a, a, we, we have joined that kingdom, and death is not to be feared, but to be celebrated. We're going to continue right on being God's friend, God, God's intimate. Uh, we are going to be living in his kingdom. That's what we chose to do. So uh, the, the, uh, there's no miracle about dying. Death is simply a doorway that 